She played <laughs> no. She played really well and she's such a good hope for Italy. She's such a good fighter and I can see her improve so much. So she's played really she played really well. I definitely played better today, I think. I played better than my other matches, so it was at the end playing in someone like her, you have to go better. I was more consistent. I did make some errors, but I was more consistent than I felt I was in the past. Hey, it's not done yet. <laughs> yeah. But I mean, how helpful has that been? Well, I did grunt once today, and I thought, God, I hope I don't get lose the point. Um, so, um, it's weird. I mean, I have another round to go, like I said. My goal this year was not to get in any fights, but if something happens, then, oh, you know, I can try to count to ten. Hopefully I can make it. When did you make that goal? Did you really have that conversation with yourself? No. Okay. You know, there's a sportsmanship award this year. Yeah. Are you trying for that? I don't think I'm up for the sportsmanship award. I mean, I'm a really good sportsman, I think. I really, I really get, um, I, I think I'm really nice. I talk to everybody in the locker room, but I don't know if that's sportsman. But I just, I try to leave everything on the court, and once the loss is over, then, you know, I'm happy for the other person. What did you learn from last year's final here, and how does that affect your thinking going into this year? Yeah, last year was, was different. I didn't get to bed until after four, so had to come right back and play again, so went fast. Um, this year, um, I know it sounds weird, but I have more experience than I did last year. Um, but I, I don't have anything to lose. I, I feel like I'm going up against, I personally think, the most consistent and the best player this year um, and being Victoria Zarenka. So um, I feel like I don't have anything to lose, and it'll be a good, it'll be a good challenge for me. I said this year. I never, I always believe that I'm the best, obviously. I mean, on paper, I think she's been more consistent doing, going much deeper in the slams than I have, and off, you know, um, uh, and being pretty consistent. How have you compiled such a great record against her? What have been the differences in the matches you've played against Victoria? Um, just, I don't know, just. We always play each other in tough settings, so I, I don't really know the answer to that, to be honest. You talk about competitive and how this is an outpouring of emotion for Andy this week. Um, and of course, you said you come on and what, what is your read of, of how you're appreciating Andy or how you're taken by that kind of performance? I feel a lot of support here, especially growing more and more as my career grows. I, one here three times, and it's, it's always good and easy to get behind someone that's doing well. And like being the last American, both the men and the women, it's exciting. You know, you want to see your country do well. So it's it, it's really cool. I feel a lot of support out here. And even when Venus was playing, I felt with our doubles, like we just had so much support. <coughs> awesome. Did you watch uh, the not too much. No, I, saw, I saw probably 10 points. Did you uh, meet Aretha Franklin the other day, or did you watch your friend uh, Michelle Obama on Friday? No, I didn't get to meet Aretha, and I hardly ever turn on the TV, so I didn't watch Michelle. You see, before they do talk to that, they say they're in the locker room. You do talk to her to see if you got the link that you sent to? Um... <laughs> I, I really get along with Vika. She's a really nice girl to me. Um, after she won her match today, I, I was walking off the court, but I gave her a fist bump. I was like, good job, because, um, yeah, she's she's come a long way, and she's had such a, she's so young now, and to have such a good career and being doing so well is awesome. What makes her so effective on hard courts, do you think? I don't know. I, honestly, I don't, I don't think about it. I don't study her. I don't study her game.
I think 10 years ago, tennis was a lot of fun. I was 20, so it was cool. I mean, it's just still kind of on the scene. I think um, getting back to doing as, as good as I, as well as I could. So it was, it was cool. I just kind of still being young and still starting out, but getting my bearings. So it was awesome. Was there ever a time when tennis wasn't fun? I think every a person goes through that point in their career, whether they're a tennis player or you know, I don't know, something else in their career, in their life, so. When was that for you? I can't pinpoint it. And if you weren't a tennis player, what was the experience you <coughs> I decided the other day I would have been a rock star because I love to sing. And although I don't have a good voice, I, I, I'm great on stage. <laughs> so. probably can be a better reader of my opponent, to be honest. And so with that being said, I'm not reading them well enough, so I don't I don't know. How much do the memories of holding the trophy at the end of your championships here stoke your motivation, stoke your desire to get back to that feeling? So I thought about it. It was an amazing feeling, and I definitely want to reach that again. I definitely want to hold that trophy and, and to to lift it up, but I have to play a maximum of three sets, and I have to stay focused on that and the task at hand and, and, and play the current number one player in the world. So, um, yeah, I have to do the best that I can. You mentioned getting a certain weight a year ago. Uh, what else is different now, physically, emotionally, and mentally? Uh, well, huh. physically, I'm much better. I mean, last year, honestly, I thought getting to the final was awesome and a great effort after being five months prior in the hospital. So for me, that was the most unbelievable effort. And it's probably the only Grand Slam loss final that I wasn't really just super disappointed. I mean, I was definitely disappointed, but not as down as I would have normally been under any other situation. So this year, I'm physically better. I'm more confident, playing more matches, winning. Um, I have Wimbledon under my belt. It's always fun to win that one. So it's cool. If you're in how do you think you'll look back on this summer after Wimbledon, the Olympics, and the U.S. Open? I think it'll be probably the best summer I've ever had. Let me think. Um, maybe not. We'll be up there, probably. Yeah, up there, because, I mean, if you if you win the Olympics and Wimbledon and this, it'd be kind of cool. So, yeah, it would be awesome. I remember, I remember 13 years ago I painted my nails with OPI, no kidding, polish every day. And before the final, I did the same thing, red, OPI red. Um, and then I, this year, my nails are already done, so I don't have to worry about that. <laughs> um, although I do have pink in of you in my purse as we speak. Um, which is a nail polish color by OPI too. But um, that's the only thing I do. I mean, I, I've really gotten out of being so into routines because it can really drive someone bananas. Um, and I've been on the verge of going bananas because I have to have this, this, this. And it was too much and it wasn't helping me win. It wasn't helping me lose. It has nothing to do with that. So I kind of chilled off on that. Thank you. Thank you. Next to all prepared any questions. No. <laughs> I don't know, I'm tired tonight. I want to get home. It's mental. Okay. Um, hey, I'm in the finals of the US Open again, which is exciting. I got to the finals last year. 
Um, and I'm looking forward to it. I'm playing Victoria Zarenka, who's actually number one in the world. So I look forward to that match. I feel like I have nothing to lose. I feel like it's going to be a lot of fun. And regardless, I've defended my points. And I have, you know, a, a few tournaments left this year. I'm down to two after this. So I'm looking forward to it. Um, it's supposed to rain tomorrow, so we'll see if I even get to play. But I'm definitely thinking that I will be able to play. And, um, what else tomorrow? I'm just going to try to do the best I can. And if that comes out to a win, then that's great. If it comes out to a loss, then it is what it is. I have to move on to the next event. So I look forward to tomorrow, and I think that's all I can say. That's one, one question. How will you prepare? What will you do in the morning before the final? I'm going to get a lot of rest as um, much as I can. Rest, 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 and then I'll be ready. That's good. Thanks.